an incredible morning. It was so much fun. They are all so amazing. I can't wait until the next time that we'll all get to see each other and hang out again. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and head out of the park. I need to go <laughs> change into a t-shirt because it is hot now. Such a good problem to have because back home right now we're having snow and so I'm just trying to soak in every last minute of feeling hot. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head to Disney Springs. I'm gonna figure out the best way to commute over there. But first I'm gonna go change my shirt. <laughs> change of plans the boat is actually here right now so I'm gonna go ahead and just wait and change when I get over to Swan and Dolphin or one of the one of the resorts over that way because I was thinking I could take they don't offer buses to Disney Springs from the parks until after 4 p.m. so I was thinking I could take a bus to Saratoga Springs but that's where all my friends are actually staying and they were saying you know that property is just so huge and to have to walk all the way around there so I think my best bet I might actually take the butt the boat right here over to one of the resorts and then hop on their bus to Disney Springs I just got off the boat here at the Swan and Dolphin and I was gonna go ahead and up and get the bus here but I remembered when we were over at Disney Springs and did this like opposite <laughs> trek we actually took the bus from Disney Springs the other day over here we were trying to get to I think Epcot or Hollywood Studios one of them when we did that um, I remember the bus actually it stopped here first but I think it's shared the Disney Springs bus between here Swan and Dolphin also over at Boardwalk and over at Yacht and Beach like it makes stops at each of them so I'm thinking should I like go get the bus when it's like about to then leave and I don't have to have as much time on the bus like if this is the first stop and don't quote me on any of this I'm just like guessing here but if this is the first stop maybe I should go over to like Boardwalk or something so actually I jumped off though at Swan and Dolphin because sometimes you can see the boat is still sitting there sometimes it's just quicker to get off at Swan and Dolphin and end up walking and it's a beautiful day so I don't mind walking I'm just basking in this Florida sun <laughs> for as long as I can Ah, oh, this is so relaxing and peaceful. I'm walking around here on the boardwalk. Look at that blue sky. This is such a peaceful path. Just this whole loop here, the boardwalk area and over to Yacht and Beach and then up over to Swan and Dolphin over there. I'm telling you, this is one of those things. I just saw these people running around here, getting their exercise in. And it's one of those things, one day, one day soon, when I live here, I gotta just keep saying it and making it happen. One day I would love to just come and be able to just do that just come over here just to exercise because you know that's the local lifestyle like places like this are just amazing I just love Disney World so much I love Florida so much the fact that it is 80 degrees here and there's a snowstorm back home I'm living in the wrong place right now okay I just got changed into my t-shirt it feels so good out here. Oh, and it was so cool when I was walking through the lobby just now. There was a bride and groom. They were taking some pictures. It looked like they were either getting ready for the wedding or the wedding just happened. So magical, so magical. So now I'm gonna go ahead and catch the bus. I don't know if this was the best idea or if I should have went over to Yacht and Beach Club. If that's, I'm trying to get on at like the last stop. So, you know, cut off the time that I'm on the bus, but you know, it, it all works. I'm gonna get to Disney Springs. <laughs> Let's see, we got Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom that just pulled up. Alright, I just got off the bus. I'm here at Disney Springs and my mom just texted 
to me. Her and my dad are gonna make their way over here to the buses so that we can all meet up and go have fun at Disney Springs. And we're gonna choose some place to go eat something and have lunch all together here. So yes, I am so excited. I love Disney Springs. Oh my gosh, and they had something so cool happen to them. They met um, Big Fat Panda. They met John. We've actually met him before, um, a couple years ago at Hollywood Studios, and he is so, so nice. So yeah, they actually, they met him again, and so my mom just sent me a picture of her and John together, and my dad sent it. It was so cute. So yeah, I'm really excited to see them. I don't know which way, which other way they're coming. I'm gonna call them. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> where are they coming to meet? All right, here we are in Disney Springs Hi. with my parents. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to walk around and just enjoy this beautiful day. It is so warm. I'm actually going to take off my sneakers now and put my flip-flops on. This is glorious. It's in the 80s. It's so pretty. Hi, sweetie. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Rainforest Cafe because my dad saw a shirt in here that he wanted to buy and I think I might get those pouches that I was looking at when we were at the Rainforest Cafe shop over at Animal Kingdom the other day. So yeah, we're gonna go in the Rainforest Cafe location that's here at Disney Springs. We went in Rainforest Cafe and sadly they didn't have the shirt that my dad was looking for here. It seems like this store is definitely, it is not as big. I'd say it's like half the size of the one that's over at Animal Kingdom. So something to keep in mind. But yeah, I did see the pouches that I was looking at, but I think I might actually wait and I wanna buy the Disney confetti pouch because I think I like that one better. I think I'm gonna do that. We're now in the Christmas shop and these are all the ones that have been personalized. You can get them to personalize pretty much most of the ornaments with anything that you want. These are only $14.99. I feel like that's like a special deal. Oh, that is just what the price is marked is, but that's really inexpensive for like a really nice Disney ornament there, that's cute. I love it in here. Christmas is my favorite holiday. I love all this Disney Christmas stuff. We are currently deciding where we want to go for food right now for kind of like a late lunch, early dinner. I think we might do Paradiso 37, which I really like. We have went here, I think the last time we were here was, oh my gosh, four years ago maybe? It's been a long time and I just remember really liking the food there. So that's a possibility, but then Maria and Enzo's is also in the talk, so. I don't know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see where the wind takes us here. So like I said, we have eaten here before, but it was probably over four years ago. And I just remember really, really enjoying this place. It's kind of like Caribbean style food and cuisine. It's really good. It's a nice chill atmosphere in here. So like we're sitting here, you can see right out that window is the water. All right, so here is the menu. Out of the menu with dessert. Got some drinks. And they br also brought over the full drink menu for us to look at. And you get to keep the glass. I don't know if people are guessing. Like, Martha doesn't know. Like, they have sides down here. 
Okay, so here we go. So I got the chicken quesadilla off the appetizer menu. I'm a big quesadilla person. I love to try them at all different places, and this looks so good. And mom, what did you get over there? Fish tacos. Ooh. And there's a lot. There's a lot there. That is a massive portion. Like, look at that compared to your hand. Like, wow. <laughs> and dad, what did you get? I got the Carolina pork rib. Awesome. So we're sitting here at this gorgeous view of Disney Springs in the water. You can see the Disney Springs balloon just over there. Okay, we just ate at Paradiso 37. It was delicious, just how I remember it. That quesadilla was so good. We all loved what we had there. I think this place is kind of like a hidden gem because I feel like of all the Disney Springs restaurants, you don't really hear that much buzz about this one. So I think it's very underrated. It needs to get a little more hype over here at Paradiso 37 because it's, good. it's so good. Delicious. Yes, it is. And there was a lot. Too much. <laughs> Too much. Shop. Yeah, and I mean, it's just so nice there. It's very chill atmosphere, kind of like a Caribbean vibe. And then you get that gorgeous view out to the water. You can even choose to go ahead and sit out on the deck and they have a nice bar area and lounge. So it's very, very nice. I like Paradiso 37. This is the most perfect day. We are just basking in the sun. This feels amazing. We walked out of the air-conditioned restaurant and just the sun hits you. It feels so good. We are having just such a fun day. So now we actually just bumped into Panda again and now I got to get my picture with him and say hello and chat and catch up. And so that was so nice. He's so sweet. And we also saw um, Amanda Tinney who is a another Disney vlogger and it had been years since we had seen her and we're all, you know, friends in this Disney community. So it's always nice when you get to bump into people like that. Such nice people. They are so, so sweet. So yeah, I love getting to see them just now. This is so cute, the orange for backpack. They have all of the food collection. So nice walking around daytime at Disney Springs is great to be able to just walk places and see everything up close. It's a lot quieter than when you come at night. Oh, that's a cute idea. We always can use new chip clips and little bottle stoppers. That's cute. Look at this men's polo shirt. This is so cool. Oh, this is cute. I've not seen this bag yet in here. They also have luggage and everything. Little crossbody bags. This is a cute print. I like this. Oh my gosh, aren't these adorable? So they look like the old DVDs and they're notebooks. My mom's gonna get the Beauty and the Beast one. Here's what I'm gonna buy. This is, I almost got the ones in Rayfars Cafe, but this one is more fun. The glitter moves around a lot more. And it's just, it's so cool. It's Disney. it's Disney and it's Mickey confetti, so. I love it. This is gonna be how I organize my backpack. Make sure it's a good zipper. Here they have some of the theming to this being the old Disney animation studio. These actually come alive. And like things happen with them if you stare at them for so long, let's see. Something gonna happen. Yeah. Okay, they're not moving. I think they definitely do do something though. They're supposed to change. <laughs> he will play with it. I'm buying it for him. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna buy this for our cat Mickey back home because he would love to bat this around, the Pixar ball. All of these posters behind the registers actually move and then they'll periodically change with some pixie dust. So I made my purchases in World of Disney and now we are here taking a stroll through the co-op until we sadly have to start making our way back to the hotel to get the stuff and go to the airport, which I'm not looking forward to at all, but no. <laughs> I keep hoping that the flight will get canceled because of the snow. Cross my fingers. So this shop has all of the Junie and Burks and then these Dapper Day inspired dresses. Look at this one with the dots, oh my gosh. Oh, it's almost like the pouch that I got with the glitter, but oh, that's cute. It has the Mickey balloon in the center. And is this then a separate pouch? It is, so you can like put things inside the balloon part and then other stuff in the main part of the purse. That's cute. It's cute. 
And look how they, we were saying this is so cute, they have like the little girl dresses and all these as well now. One day soon I will invest in a new Dooney and Burke, but not this trip. Gotta save up. Oh my gosh, it's so whips. That is so cute. Oh, look, I look at the Dole Whip. Um, oh, okay, wait, look at the headband. That's Dole Whips. Oh, I want that. I was just saying I want to get a hairband to like wear my hair up in the parks more. That is really, really cute. Okay, this is just precious. I saw this online. Look at how pretty. I would think it'd be even just pretty just to wear it without the cardigan over top. That'd be nice for like a Disney bride for like the rehearsal dinner or like, you know, the night before the wedding or something. How cute. Oh, that's pretty. The aerial single hopper style. They have, it's neat thing is this art shop. This is the Wonderground Gallery and they have some different art items, but then also art on the t-shirts and such. And then not just t-shirts, but different merchandise things, coffee cups. Tumblers, Hawaiian shirts, really cute. Dad, you need that though. <laughs> you need that. Oh, Club 33, the people mover, or no, that was a Skyway car. Um, look, here's the tickets, the old tickets, A through E. This is so cool. This is the old Sky Buckets. Old Sky Buckets. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. We've now wandered into trendy. And this store I could just go crazy in if I really wanted to. <laughs> Here's the Alex and Annie's. They have a lot of cute Alex and Annie's. Oh, and wow, that looks like they just have the Dole Whip left. I don't even see them having the donut one in stock. This one is so fun. This is really cute. My mom was just saying this would match a lot of just like so different solid colored leggings and everything. I like the pops of pink in it. It's cute. Oh, it is so just beautiful here right now. It just feels so warm and everything is gorgeous. So sadly we have to make our way now out of Disney Springs. We were like taking a thousand detours coming over here just now because none of us want to leave. We just want to stay here forever. <sighs> One day soon. <laughs> but for now we have to go. <laughs> But, but we will be back and we were blessed with such a wonderful trip. So many things happened this trip. Like I feel like in such a short amount of time, wonderful. just everything was just perfect. Like every moment we met so many of our friends and just great people and like, yeah. it one was our, so cool. Even though it was shorter, one of our best trips ever, I think. Yeah, seriously, awesome. seriously. So. It was, yeah, such a blessing to get to come down and see you. And we enjoyed the Disney Springs Resorts, too. It's a, yes. Yeah. Very, very nice. nice. We were so impressed with, I mean, everyone was so nice and helpful at the Holiday Inn where we were staying. The room was great. It was clean, comfortable. It was very modern and sleek inside. Yeah. We were very happy. Nice buses so. ran on time. Yeah. And yeah, mm -hmm. it was really great. It was awesome. So. He's inside now checking out the Star Wars experience. Oh yes, he is. And you know he wants to do it, but we, we ran out of time. Again. I know. <laughs> well, we're back again. So. Okay. I was gonna come back. <laughs> Till next time.